Hi, I'm Tom Smith with Leica Camera, and I'm here today to give you an overview of one of our newest cameras, the Leica T. The Leica T is not only one of our newest cameras, it's one of our most exciting in that it combines Leica's dedication to craftsmanship and quality optics with some of the newest features in digital cameras. The Leica T has a huge, beautiful touchscreen, but nothing replaces holding the camera properly, so be sure when you're using it to always support the camera. The Leica T not only has a beautiful touchscreen that allows you to clearly see even in bright sun, but it also has a zoom range that takes you from wide angle to slightly telephoto all with one lens. Removing the battery for the Leica T for charging is going to be done right here on the bottom. It comes out only halfway, give it a little push, you can take it out all the way. The memory card is actually going to be on the side of the camera, right here. The layout of the Leica T at first might seem intimidating, but I hope after a little bit of instruction, you'll start to feel a lot more comfortable with how to navigate the camera's menu. You'll notice on the right-hand side, you'll see a auto mode, a camera mode, and info. Well, think of these as separate filing cabinets that access completely different information on the camera. For example, when I hit the top right auto mode, I'm offered a menu that gives me choices between program, aperture priority, shutter priority, manual, and even scene modes like many compact cameras. To start, I'm going to take you to program. Program, I only half jokingly say, is for professional. Uh, the truth is, it is an automatic mode that allows you, uh, the camera, to choose many of the technical settings, allowing you to focus on making great pictures and looking at light. Um, and the camera is going to do a great job in that auto mode uh, or program mode uh, that you see now. Uh, in addition to that, the camera icon will allow you to access many other features on the camera, for example, like file format. And under file format, by hitting that, each time I hit it, I'm changing from a JPEG to a DNG or a RAW file. My recommendation would be to either shoot JPEG Superfine, which is the largest JPEG file out of the camera, or if you're interested in shooting a RAW file, you can shoot a DNG with a JPEG at the same time. It's possible to completely customize the Leica T to how you like to shoot. So for example, if I go to the setup menu, I have many different choices of technical features in the camera that I can customize. The most common feature you may want to access is going to be autofocus mode. And this is where the Leica T really gets interesting. You can grab by touching that icon. Let me show you again. You can just touch it for a second and drag and drop that into your shooting menu. That icon now will appear on the autofocus mode, it will appear under your shooting menu. Playing back a picture on the Leica T is as simple as swiping with your finger from the top right to the bottom right. This plays back your shots. If you are ready to go through your images, you actually can swipe through your images by swiping through the files, like so. And if you find something you want to zoom in on, you can actually expand a pinch to zoom in on details. The control dials on the top right of the Leica T correspond to the information that appears on the touchscreen. So for example, the left control dial, as I make changes there, in this case to ISO, or the sensor sensitivity, you see those changes on the touch screen on the back. My recommendation for those of you starting out with the Leica T for the first time is to make sure that the ISO is set on auto. And over time, you may experiment with trying different ISO settings. But as a general rule, for travel photography and understanding the camera, auto is a good place to start.